everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would make a quick video on the Crunchyroll Anime Awards uh, 2023 edition. Uh, pretty strange overall, I gotta say. I am a little bit disappointed with the, or actually super disappointed with the selections, the nominees, if you will. I'd like to cover this because I think it is important. I am a huge fan of animation in general. I love anime and I think it does deserve a Western award recognition show thingamajig. So it's really cool when they do this sort of thing. I'm not a fan of the popularity contest that forms out of this. Essentially, you have a couple days to vote for your favorite and everybody just mass votes for a particular series to win. And then that happens and it's kind of cheesy and lame in my opinion. If you're gonna do it right, at least get a panel get a, a board to supervise this and they make the voting and selection and we just enjoy the process and the actual show and all that stuff. Uh, but first things first, I got to point out the anime of the year segment. I'm going to vote on that last, but I need to show you guys the six nominees out of hundreds of shows. I thought maybe they'll do like uh, Oscar style and just pick 10 shows because Again, there were a lot of cool uh, series that aired in 2022. The choices are baffling to me. You got Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District arc, uh, Lacorus Recoil, Ranking of Kings, the second half of that, and all of Spy Family. Now, what's interesting here is, and I've seen other websites that do uh, polls and anime of the year stuff as well. Uh, they included Demon Slayer and Ranking of Kings. The later halves of both shows aired at the start of the year. However, I don't like to count them because they started the year prior. That's just me. Uh, you could make an argument like it counts because it aired a huge chunk or whatever, but I want to see an award uh, for a show that aired in completion all of it during that year i will not be <laughs> voting for anything ranking of kings and demon slayer i think that's a very safe decision to do that and pick something that was part of 2021 also a lot of famous shows are missing you're not seeing uh bochi the rock you're not seeing the bleach anime you're not seeing chainsaw man mob psycho 100 the list goes on and on. Instead, it's it's kind of a mixed bag. I don't think this is the best of the best, in my opinion. But that's what they chose, so I guess we'll have to live with it. Let's uh, go over the categories real quick and, and share my thoughts. Now, best voice artist performance English. I will not be voting on that because I don't watch uh, dubbed anime. So I have no idea about these performances. I have no idea about the voice actors. So I will skip that one. Best voice artist performance, Japanese. The seiyus, if you will. Uh, let's see if I can remember these names and pronounce them correctly. Probably not. Atsumi Tanizaki voiced Anya for uh, Spy Family. Uh, Chika Anzai, she voiced uh, Chisato for Licorice Recoil. You got uh, Fido's Eye, I butchered that, sorry. Uh, voicing um, Jolene for uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean. Misaki Kuno was Faputa, if I remember correctly, on Made in Abyss, season two. Uh, Natsuki Hanai, of course, uh, Tanjiro, and Yuki Kaji for Eden. Pretty solid list on that one. And honestly, I, it, it's between Spy Family, Made in Abyss, and La Corte's Recoil for me. And I'm going to have to go with Chica. I think she just did a phenomenal job with that series. Even though I don't think it's the best uh, anime of the year, I do think it's one of the best acted shows of the year. Okay, there we go. I am going to vote for Chica as Chisato. Best Romance. Now, this is pretty interesting. You got Call of the Night, Kaguya-sama Love is War Ultra Romantic, or Season 3, Komi Can't Communicate, uh, the second season, 
Love After World Domination. I think this was a really underrated anime. Uh, My Dress Up Darling was fantastic. And Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. I wasn't a fan of that at all. I'm going to go with Call of the Night. That is one of my favorite shows of last year. And I started reading the manga for the first time last year as well. There we go. Got to represent one of my favorites. Best Fantasy. Got Demon Slayer. Also, uh, a lot of, of the anime of the year uh, shows are going to be spread throughout the categories, which I always find extremely boring. Again, I apologize. I, I love Demon Slayer. I have all the manga volumes. I've seen the show. Ranking of Kings is one of my favorite shows. I think it's uh, one of Wit Studio's best productions uh, or adaptations, I should say. Sorry, but I'm not I'm not going to touch that at all. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to focus on other stuff like Mushiko Tensei uh, Season 1 Part 2. You got Made in Abyss here, Season 2, Overlord uh, 4, Season 4. Uh, the Case Study of Vanitas, the second part of that series. Again, that aired also in 2021. Uh, I am, as for best fantasy, for me, it's either Made in Abyss or Mushiko Tensei. Mushiko Tensei is fantastic and it has a, a really cool world building, but I think Made in Abyss should have been a contender, a nominee for Anime of the Year. It was a masterful season, if you will. Best Drama. You got 86 Part 2, again, that aired 2021, but okay. Uh, Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2. Uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Dance, 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 or another series that I think should have been on the anime of the year list if you have not seen it and i get it it's not popular enough that's why they didn't put it there it's a popularity contest but i like to take these things seriously and i think uh, people should as well because uh, they are fantastic shows overall and they all deserve wonderful recognition kotaro lives alone i've not seen that so i can't talk about that one uh, made in abyss season two this is drama <clears throat> it has to go for uh, Dance 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 Zora. That was a fantastic, beautiful series. I highly recommend you guys check it out if you haven't. Wonderful overall. Best comedy. You got Kaguya-sama season 3. Uh, Kotaro Lives Alone. I, I guess I need to watch this. It's dominated multiple times. What the hell? Uh, My Dress of Darling. Spy Family. You got Uncle from Another World, if it ever finishes broadcasting. And Ya Boy Kong Ming. This is a solid one, and actually, it, it, it's pretty hard. My initial thought is to go with Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 3. I think it's the best of the seasons so far. They, they knocked it out of the park with the writing and acting and all that stuff. My Dress of Darling was a really nice surprise and genuinely a fun show. Spy Family was phenomenal and took everybody, took the world by storm. Everybody fell in love with that show. Ya Boy Kong Ming is amazing. Can't recommend that enough. Uh, done by PA Works, adapting the manga of the same name. And Uncle from Another World. I, I genuinely laughed out loud watching that series. I'm going to go with that, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Uncle from Another World. Solid, super fun show. Best Action. Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2. Cyberpunk, Edge Runners, Demon Slayer, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean, Makora's Recoil spy family for action i'm gonna go with uh cyberpunk edge runners for sure there we go must protect at all costs character i absolutely hate this category it's cringy and stupid uh of course you get the cute characters you got anya boji kage kotaro uh marin and shoko or komi uh it has to be anya of course there we go Best Supporting Character, you got Ai Hayasaka from uh, Kaguya-sama, Anya Forger from Spy Family, you got Kage from uh, Ranking of Kings, Rebecca from uh, Cyberpunk, your double duty here for uh, Spy Family, okay, and Tengen Uzui. I am going to go with, let's, let's, let's go to your. she's a great character. And I'm realizing as I'm voting that a lot of people are going to hate this video. They're probably going to dislike it. I don't really care. At least you watched it. So thank you for that. <laughs> the best main character. You got Boji. He is one of the best characters. I'll give you that. But not for this voting session. 
Uh, Chisato Nishikigi. Nishikigi? Yeah, I said that right. Uh, David Martinez, Eren Yeager, Lloyd Forger, uh, Marin Kitagawa. Best main character. Um, I'm I'm going to go with Marin because she's great. Uh, next up, we got best director. I am going to go with. Even though it's not my anime of the year pick, I think the direction on Lacoris Recoil is quite phenomenal. It's an action-packed show with great, uh, great characters, gunfights, uh, drama. Overall, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm going to give it to uh, Shingo Adachi. Here you go. Best anime song, which is different. They usually just do openings and endings. We're going to see those in a bit. So this is just a the song, not the animation for the opening. A lot of people tend to confuse that online. You'd be surprised. Uh, you got New Genesis, Uta from One Piece Film Red. Uh, Shall We Dance uh, from, uh, what is this? Shadows... Shadows House, there we go, that's the name. Uh, with Studio and Cloverworks, uh, Comedy, Spy Family, Chiki Chiki Ban Ban. Uh, oh man, this is a tough one. Chiki Chiki Ban Ban. Uh, you got my nonfiction from Kawiya Sama and The Rumbling. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, I'm gonna go with The Rumbling because I played the crap out of that on my Spotify playlist. So, best of film. Now, this one's pretty interesting. I. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to vote on this because the only one I've seen is The Deer King, which is phenomenal. I haven't seen Bubble. I want to watch Inuo uh, once I get that on Blu-ray. Uh, one Piece Film Red, no. Uh, I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball Super. And I haven't seen Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, so unfortunately I can't vote on this. It's unfair to me to just go, oh, Deer King, because that's the only one I've watched. I don't know. Whatever. I'm probably the only one thinking like that. <laughs> Best uh, music score. Spy Family, Ya Boy Kong Bean. Of course, it is a music anime. Uh, Made in Abyss, uh, Cyberpunk. You got Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. For the music, I actually think um, it has to be Attack on Titan. Best ending sequence. You got Attack on Titan. You got My Dress Up Darling, uh, Kaguya Sama, Spy Family, Call Me Can't Communicate. That's super underrated. And the obvious winner, one of the best songs out of 2022, and that is, of course, Call of the Night from, that's the actual translation, of Call of the Night. A no-brainer. This was one of the best songs out of last year. I cannot recommend it enough. And that ending is just amazing. So, of course, best opening sequence. Now, this is a little bit easier. You got uh, Chiki Chiki Ban Ban from your boy Konming, Naked Hero from Ranking of Kings, an amazing song. Too bad I'm not gonna choose it. Um, this Fire uh, from Cyberpunk, Fire, right? Uh, Mixed Nuts, uh, Spy Family, The Rumbling, that's a good one. And uh, Sankyo Sanka, mm, yeah, too bad. I mean, that's a solid list right here, but fortunately, like I mentioned, I'm not gonna pick on the 2021 entries. I'm going to go with uh, Chiki Chiki Ban Ban. Everybody should watch Ya Boy Konming. That was such a good, wholesome show. I loved it. Best continuing series. You got, again, uh, Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2, Demon Slayer, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean, Kaguya Sama, Love is War, Season 3, uh, Made in Abyss, Season 2, and One Piece. I'm going to go with uh, Made in Abyss as best continuing series. That season was just gorgeous. Loved it. It was so tragic and... and well done. Best new series. Now this is a category where you could have highlighted more shows instead of just adding Lacourse Recoil and Spy Family again. I know they're new series, but again, 2022 had a lot of shows and we're just seeing the same ones over and over again. Uh, you got those two. You got Call of the Night, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, My Dress of Darling, and your boy Conming. It's not a bad list. And I am going to represent my uh, one of my favorites, Call of the Night. And it was an amazing series. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. There you go. Voted for that. Best animation. I'm surprised to see. 
Akabe's sailor uniform. As creepy and fetishy as that <laughs> series is, it does have amazing animation from Cloverworks. They're one of my favorite studios and just knocked it out of the park. Cyberpunk by Trigger was amazing. Uh, Ranking of Kings, Demon Slayer, of course. Attack on Titan, Final Season Part 2, and Spy Family. I'm going to go, personally, I'm going to go with Spy Family, even though, technically, you have to acknowledge UFO Table's work on Demon Slayer. I totally get that. So before you get mad at me, you're watching right now, just know that, yes, in my heart, that is the winner. But I got to make a stand, and I don't... I'm not going to go back on my word, so I will pick uh, Spy Family. And we're nearly done. Best character design. Again, uh, the same, almost uh, the same as before. You got Demon Slayer, you got Spy Family, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean, uh, Ranking of Kings, My Dress of Darling, and Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I think this one has to go to Cyberpunk. It was so inventive with, the, with that world and the character designs and all that. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. The best original anime. There we go. So this is stuff that's not based on a, on a manga or a light novel. You got Birdie Wing, Golf, Golf Girl Story. I mean, it's fun, but to nominate it for best original anime. Okay, whatever. Healer Girl is an amazing series, highly underrated. The Orbital Children is weird because it was um, it aired in Japan as a movie and then got spliced up into a series on Netflix. Uh, so that's odd. Vampire in the Garden, that's a original net animation on Netflix, I think. And Yurei Deco was solid as well. I'm going to go with the underdog here, and I hope more people do, because Healer Girl had some really interesting ideas and breathtaking animation and music. If This should have been nominated in score and all that stuff, because the songs and all that, they were just beautiful. So I'm going to represent uh, the girls here for Healer Girl. And well, here it is, anime of the year. We talked about all these six shows and I got to make up my mind. I'm not going to go for Ranking of Kings or Demon Slayer, even though they had amazing episodes and arcs or whatever. Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2 was phenomenal. Cyberpunk Edge Runners was a lot of fun. Uh, Lacor's Recoil was a lot of fun as well. I'm I'm going to I'm going to go with Spy Family. I think it had a well-rounded package, great characters, great uh, visuals, a fantastic story. It was adapted really well from the manga. The animation's uh, super clean and nice to look at. The characters are great. The voice acting is really good in that. I think it's the most well-rounded and should be the one of the anime of the years and in this case it's going to be the anime of the year that i pick <laughs> uh so there we go i'm not going to do this again i don't care about it that much to uh continue voting until january 25th uh if you enjoyed this video thank you so much uh, i know it was kind of a bit of a downer because i was uh complaining a lot about this even though it's just a popularity contest but hey i i care about this stuff i'm a huge passionate fan for uh, animation and anime as a whole and I just wanted I, I thought we were going to get a really solid best of the year list and uh, like for example uh, original anime where was uh, Bleach, Mob Psycho 100, The Final Season, Chainsaw Man, uh, Bochi the Rock uh, the list goes on and on uh, there were a lot of great shows last year that I think should have been here uh, nominated as well but that's their decision. Who cares? End of the day, it's just uh, shows. So that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this video entertaining, or at least you laughed at my hijinks here. I will be back with another video soon talking about the uh, winter season and then some manga goodness and all that stuff. So thank you, everybody, for the support. I truly do appreciate it. We've had a bunch of new users watching, and I'm super excited about that. I hope... I didn't steer you away and, and now you want to leave. Uh, do come back because we got some good content coming up on the channel. Thank you so much. That's going to be it for now. Thank you, everybody. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.